This is a quick presentation of Vertex Tools for SketchUp. After you install Vertex Tools, you'll find a new submenu under the Tools menu called Vertex Tools. When you click on Edit Vertices, you'll enter Vertex Editing Mode. And you'll then see these floating toolbar and selection information panel. The rectangular selection acts just as the normal SketchUp selection, uh, but you also have a circular selection or polygon selection, or my personal favorite, which is the freehand selection, which allows you to quickly sweep across the vertices you want. In addition, you have soft selection, which you can enter a radius down here in the uh, bottom right corner. If you type in a distance, you'll see the vertices nearby selection is now also colored. They indicate that they will also be affected when you do anything to your selected vertices. So if I move these vertices, you can see the uh, vertices within the selection was also selected. There are two types of salt selection. The one I used now was the linear, which produces a very straight line. But if I use this cosine fall of for the soft selection and move them up, you can see I get this little soft curve, which makes it really nice for terrain and organic stuff. And it acts just like the uh, smooth tool on the um, sandbox tool that comes in SketchUp. Another feature to help you select the right vertices is ignore back faces. If I select these vertices, you'll see that on the back side they're also selected. But if I turn ignore back faces on and select these, they won't select on the other side. Uh, this is not selecting what is visible, but it only selects the vertices connected to faces pointing towards the camera. So if I select these vertices here, I have a look at the back side, they were also selected because these faces were pointing towards the camera, even though they were not visible. Um, another feature is the auto smooth and um, when you normally uh, transform geometry in SketchUp it will auto fold, it will create new edges whenever you distort a face so its vertices aren't planar um, but if you turn auto smooth on and then do the same transformation you see that the edges now are soft and smooth automatically. So it, when you have hidden geometry turned off, the face still looks the same. Another feature is um, insert vertices, which allows you to insert vertices on faces or on edges. And lastly, you also have the um, Make Planner button, which takes the vertices you selected and when you click it, they all all the selected vertices will be placed on the same plane and the soft selected vertices will also move towards that plane.